take y is equal to 0. If you take y is equal to 0, then 0 less than minus 2 is false. Just substituting the value of 0, 0, you are supposed to identify whether 0, 0 will be in the solution region or does not lie in the solution region. So clearly, you can observe if you shade the part of this, it will not include the 0. And similarly, if you shade above the line, this line, it will not include 0. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is Yashruti ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence Mysuru. Here in this session, we will be studying the same that is the graphical solution of a linear inequalities in two dimensional plane. So that is two dimensional plane is nothing but your coordinate axis x and y axis. In our previous session, we have learned how to get a solution in a one dimensional plane that is on a number line. Now we will discuss the same on two dimensional plane. So we will take few inequalities now. So look here we have solved the following inequalities graphically in two dimensional plane. We have y less than or equal to minus 2. The line y less than or equal to minus 2 where it comes. So let us see it now. This is the x axis and this is y axis x x dash y y dash now 0 1 2 3 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 now we have y less than minus 2 first consider the equation y is equal to minus 2. Where does the line y is equal to minus 2 comes? So we have minus 2 as y here. So if you use less than, then you are supposed to use the dotted lines. So clearly we have to draw a straight line that is parallel to x-axis. This is the line y is equal to minus 2. This dotted line represents y is equal to minus 2. But our solution lies y less than minus 2. Now how to write the solution region here? So for that take y is equal to 0. If you take y is equal to 0 then 0 less than minus 2 is false. 0 cannot be less than minus 2. So therefore the statement is false. Then where does the solution region? So if 0 less than minus 2 is false what is our conclusion? 0 comma 0 does not lie does not lie in the solution region so if i take this as a complete solution region it cannot be possible so therefore the solution region will be the shaded portion that is y less than minus 2 so this is the solution region for the given linear inequality so this is how we are going to represent the solutions of inequality in two dimensional plane. Next, 3x plus 2y greater than 6. So here, let us take the value for x and y. So we know we need two points to draw a line. So let us take it now, let us take x and y. Put x is equal to 0 in this equation, you get 2y is equal to 6. So five, y you will get it as 3. If you put y is equal to 0, you will get 3x is equal to 6, where 2 is the value. So therefore, the points are 0, 3 and 2, 0. So using this point, let us draw a straight line. So we have x-axis and y-axis. So this is y dash, y, x and x dash. Let us point it 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is negative here. And here it is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now what are the points here? 0, comma 3. So this is the point 0, comma 3. And here we have 2, comma 0. 2, comma 0. So here... 3x plus 2y is greater than 6. Strict inequality. So we are going to use the dotted lines to draw a straight line here. So 
So this is our straight line. We are using the dotted lines to construct a straight line. So this equation is 3x plus 2y is equal to 6. Now I need to find all the solution which is greater than 6. For that to find which is the solution that is the region above this, the region below this. What I'll take here put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. If you put x is equal to y is equal to 0, this implies 0 is greater than 6, which is false. So this is false. So this implies 0 comma 0 does not lie in the solution region. Does not lie in solution region. So where does 0 comma 0? This is our 0 comma 0. So then this cannot be the solution region for the given line. So therefore the above region, this is the solution region. So how to draw the solution region there? Just shade the above region which will give you the solution region for the answer. So just substituting the value of 0, 0, you are supposed to identify whether 0, 0 will be in the solution region or does not lie in the solution region. If it is not in the solution region, then you are exactly shading opposite side of the point 0, 0. If it is inside the solution region, then you are going to shade the region which contains the point 0, 0. 3x minus 6 greater than or equal to 0. So here, 3x greater than or equal to 6, x greater than or equal to 3 is the solution. Now x greater than or equal to 3 is the solution. So let us see or draw a line now. x greater than or equal to 3 is a line which is parallel to y axis. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we have take x is equal to 3. Since you have a slack inequality, that is you are equal to 3 contains, you can draw a straight line without using a dotted lines. So this is the line x is equal to 3 now. Now x is greater than or equal to 3. So to see whether the solution region lies either the left side or right side of the line. So let us take x is equal to 0. Put x is equal to 0 there. So 0 greater than or equal to 3 which is false. So this means 0 comma 0 does not lie in the solution region. So we have to take the solution region where 0 comma 0 is not there. So if I shade this side that is below this line it includes the point 0 comma 0 so I cannot shade this part. So the solution region will be the right hand side of the line. This is my solution region. Next one 2x plus y greater than or equal to 6. First let us see the points to draw a line x and y. Put x is equal to 0, y will be 6. Put y is equal to 0, then 2x is equal to 6, which implies y is equal to 3. So therefore, the points are 0, 6 and 3, 0. So let us plot the points now. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. x, x dash and y, y dash. Now we have greater than or equal to. So we can use a straight line without a dotted line. So 0, 6. So this is my point. And another one is 3, 0. So this is the point. So let us join these two points. So this is my straight line whose equation is 2x plus y greater than or equal to 6. Now whether to shade which region, the region above this or the region below this. For that put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 there. If you put 0, 0, 0 greater than or equal to 6 
is false. So this is false. So therefore, 0 comma 0 does not lie in the solution region. Does not lie in the solution region. So that means we cannot shade the area which is under this line because it will contain the point 0 comma 0. So therefore, our solution region will be above the line which does not contain the point 0 comma 0. So this is how we are going to draw a graph with its solution of a linear equation. Now, till here we have done only for the single line. Now let us solve graphical method to find the solution of linear inequalities for two equations. Now here I have taken an example. These type of question carries five marks in your examination. A very important concept that is solving simultaneous linear inequalities through graphical method. So we have two equations. For the two equation, we are going to draw two different lines. Let us solve for the first equation. So let us see what are the points we get for x plus y greater than or equal to phi. If x is 0, y is phi. If y is 0, x is phi. So the points are 0 comma phi and phi comma 0. Let us plot this first. So here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are the regions. So let us plot 0, 5. 0, 5 means this is the line and 5, 0, this is the line. So let us join it. Now I'll join the line. This is my line. So whose equation is x plus y greater than or equal to phi. Now I should check the region for this. So for this region, put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 here. Put x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. So if you get here, you will get 0 greater than or equal to phi, which is false. That means 0 comma 0 cannot be included as a solution region. So the solution region for this will be the above region, above the line. So you should be able to recognize whichever the solution region is. So for this line, the solution region is above the straight line. Now let us plot a line for x minus y less than or equal to 3. So for that again, let us take two columns for x and y. Now if you put x is equal to 0 there, then y is minus 3 and if you put y is equal to 0 there, x is 3. So the points are 0 comma minus 3 and 3 comma 0. Let us plot this. 0 comma minus 3 is this point and 3 comma 0 is this point. So let us draw one more line connecting this. So this is my second line. That is x minus y less than or equal to 3. Now again for this you should check the solution region, whether the region will be below this line or above this line. So put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. So that means if you put 0, 0 less than 3 is true. So 0 less than 3 means 0 comma 0 lies in the solution region. And here 0 comma 0 does not lie in the solution region. So for this line it should be above this because it cannot include 0. For this line it should be this side because if you shade this part 0 comma 0 contains inside the solution region. So therefore for this line this is the solution region. And for this line, this is my solution region. So therefore, the shaded part will be the solution region for the simultaneous inequalities. So you should conclude that the shaded region is the solution region for the given inequalities. Now let us take one more example. 
2x minus y greater than 1 x minus 2y less than 1. So first let us solve for 2x minus 1 that is let us find the coordinates of 2x minus y greater than 1. If you put x is equal to 0 here then y will be minus 1. If you put y is equal to 0 here then this will be 1 by 2 which is nothing but 0.5 and uh, put x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 there. So if you put x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 then 0 greater than 1 is false. So therefore what we can conclude here 0 comma 0 does not lie in the solution region for this straight line. So first let us plot this. So 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 1, minus 2, minus 3, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. So y, y dash, x, x dash. Now let us see the point. One is 0 comma minus 1. This is the point. And another one is half comma 0. That is this point. That is point 0.5 comma 0. So the line will be like this. This is the equation of the line for 2x minus y greater than 1. Now where does the solution region lie? Clearly we have got 0 does not lie in the solution region. 0 comma 0 is here. So we cannot shade this region. So the solution region lie here. Now let us see for the second equation. Solve it. x and y put x is equal to 0 then y is equal to 1 by 2 there. So I will get minus 2y less than minus 1 which is nothing but half and put y is equal to 0 there you will get x is equal to minus 1. So therefore the points are 0 comma 0.5 and minus 1 comma 0. Now put x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 there. So this implies 0 is less than minus 1 false again. So therefore what we can conclude 0 comma 0 does not lie in solution region. So let us see where the solution region lies for this equation. First plot the point it is 0 comma 0 0.5 this is the region and another one is minus 1 comma 0. So this is the line. Now let us draw the line. This is the line whose equation is x minus 2y less than or equal to minus 1. Now clearly you can see 0 comma 0 does not lie in the solution region. If I shade the below part here, 0 will be included. So I cannot shade this region below the line. So the shaded region will be above the line. And we have seen for this line, the shaded region will be the right side of the line and here it is above the line. So where does the solution region lie then? So clearly you can observe if you shade the part of this, it will not include the zero. And similarly, if you shade above the line, this line, it will not include zero. So therefore, the inequalities where they touches each other and the solution of this region will be this shaded region. So therefore, for this inequalities, the shaded region will be the solution region. So this is how we are going to construct the equations of linear inequality among straight line and find the shaded region. So this method of finding the solution using graphical method is very important for your examinations. We'll continue few more problems in our next session. Until then, keep watching, keep learning and keep exploring. Thank you.